All right, race fans. Welcome to Turn Left TV. Are you ready for some high speed action tonight? Step on the gas. All right, race fans. Welcome to sunny Miami. This is Turn Left TV, and I'm your host, Heath Johnson. The High Octane Racing League Bushwhacker Series heads to Homestead Miami Speedway tonight. For race number nine. There's two races to go, and this is a tough track. This could be a big one tonight. It's a 98 lap race. The season's winding down. Who's got what it takes to run that high line and use those tires late in the run? You know what? There's only one way to find out, and that is watch it right here on Turn Left TV. Well, the Bushwhacker Series in action in sunny Florida. We got girls, we got drinks, we got racing. It's Homestead. Hang on, boys and girls. It's live right here on Turn Left TV. All right, hey, thank you so much for coming in here to Turn Left TV. Appreciate being here tonight. It's cold here in Indiana. I mean, real cold in Indiana, but we are in Miami. Who cares, right? I wish we were in Miami. That'd be great. Well, again, thanks for coming in. I'm your host, your uh, broadcast and commentator, Heath Johnson. This is race number 9 of 10. It's Homestead Miami Speedway, located in Homestead, Florida. Mile and a half track, 98 laps tonight, and it's round number nine. Two races to go, including tonight. This could be a big one in uh, the championship battle. Tonight's race brought to you by EliteHostingUSA.com. If you're interested in an R Factor 2 server or hosting your website, uh, please give EliteHostingUSA.com a look. That's who we have our website with. And, of course, our R Factor 2 servers, rock-solid servers. Don't forget to join us over at HighOctaneRacing.net for all of your HighOctaneRacing.net needs. <laughs> uh, you can get a quick link there to join us on Discord and then, of course, see what the uh, point standings are, see who's uh, uh, winning all the races. And, of course, if you want to see who's running what throughout the week, there's the R Factor 2 times. Again, come on and give us a look. We appreciate that. Again, we'll take a look at the track here. A mile and a half in length. Uh, turns, in the, or excuse me, the banking in the turns, 18 to 23 progressive banking, and it can be a little dicey, man. I really think the guys that can run the high line late in that run and stay up on the wheel, being careful coming off the turns and things get a little loose here, are going to be the guys that win this race or compete for a race win. This is a tough track. I love this track. It is a tough track to drive, but I think this is a track that just personifies that if, uh, if you're patient, you stay up on the wheel and really drive this track and don't really worry about those other cars so much, you're going to end up finding yourself at the front of the pack there toward the end of the race. So uh, really do love this track here at Homestead. So uh, should be a great one here tonight. It is a tough track. A lot of guys, they, they claim to hate this track, but the racing is excellent here normally. So I don't want to jinx her.
Again, I want to thank you so much for coming in here and joining me on Turn Left TV. Peace to everybody out there. My God, it is freezing here in Indiana. What is going on here? I mean, it's okay if it's a little bit below freezing, but when we start dropping down below zero, that, I'm out, man. I don't know. Somebody send me some plane tickets to uh, Florida. Might get there just in time for the race. Hey, thanks for coming in. Peace to everybody out there. Hit that thumbs up button. Let me know you were here. And uh, for all those new viewers out there, there are, I know there's going to be a few. Uh, again, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Smash that uh, subscribe button and then massage the bell. I don't even know what that means. If you'd like to make a donation to Turn Left TV, you can make a donation straight through PayPal. Again, thanks to all those folks who have done so. Also, you can support me by clicking on the links down in the description of this race and following those over to the Fantech website. And if you're interested in purchasing, some, purchasing something uh, through them, please use my link. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much for all those folks who, who visit the Fanatec website using the link, but also those folks who purchase stuff uh, using that link as well. I really appreciate that. Uh, so thank you so much. we got a good race here for you tonight. And uh, got a lot of guys here, man. Half of Brazil just joined us uh, here at the last minute. So we got 17 drivers here joining us tonight. This should be a good one here. Uh, excited about this. One of our great friends, uh, you know, uh, out tonight. Uh, a lot of our great friends out here out tonight because we got those old regulars too, those HORL regulars. So this is going to be a dandy race. I really uh, convinced that. But again, thank you so much for coming in. And uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and share my videos with all of your friends on any social media platform where you can share YouTube videos. You can share mine. Well, the schedule here in the Bushwhacker Series, of course, Miami tonight, Homestead, Miami, 98 laps tonight. And then next week, we'll be in Kentucky, singing some bluegrass and crowning the champion. That's going to be a great one, too. Another great, great mile and a half. A lot of room to race there. Very different track than what we have here at Homestead, Miami. We've got a high banked, uh, kind of a slick oval here. And then we've got a, uh, a flat, very wide, low banked. Uh, speedway, mile and a half there at Kentucky Speedway, but that is a fantastic uh, track. I love that one. So excited about that. We'll crown the champion next week. Speaking of that, who is in the running for the championship? Take a look at the season standings here. Well, Paul Brown is the, uh, the points leader with 292 points. It'll be hard to beat him. Christian Wilson's had a great season. He said second in points. Preston Hassel third. Givaldo Spindola is fourth. Craig Marazon fifth in points. Here. Claudio Bardella Jr. sixth. Todd Robillard seventh. Ed Palumbo eighth. Sean Jacobs ninth. And Colin Madiak sits tenth in points coming into tonight's race. Now he's got to go to the qualification session. Got some great racing headed your way this weekend tomorrow. Oh, my home track. Look at that. You guys just all come over after afterwards for beers. 
Indianapolis Motor Speedway, race number five in the High Octane Racing League Saturday Showdown Series. 80 laps from this great track, the crowd jewel of motorsports. That's Indy coming up tomorrow afternoon here in the United States, uh, afternoon time, 2 p.m. qualifications. And that's why time the broadcast will start, so don't want to miss it. It'll be live right here on Turn Left TV, race number five in the uh, Showdown Series. And this has been a fantastic one. I think we're going to have a big field here tomorrow, uh, so you don't want to miss that one. It'll be a great, great race. Take a look at uh, qualifications here as uh, Tim Lansbury makes his uh, qualification attempt. Top time, uh, look at that. Tim Lansbury, the top time, 31.336 for him. Paul Brown now jumps to the top there, so that didn't last long, did it? Lansbury on that second lap. Lansbury, sixth on the grid, 31.422 is that time. We can look at Todd Roblar, 31.24. Four, seven. Looks like he's finished up his attempt. How about Jim Willis in the 53 car. Paul Brown, the top times here so far, 31.193. 31.381 for Jim Willis, currently sixth on the grid. Zach McCasey in the 29 car, he's finished up his qualification attempt. How about Jesus Iglesias in the new paint scheme? The 22 car, 31.474. The orange crush, Camaro. Iglesias, 12th on the grid. Oh, looks good. I don't know who painted that car, but that guy is a master. A nice looking scheme, man. I've been uh, I've been holding that off for a while. So I started on that, and then I thought, man, Glacius needs a paint scheme. And I said, I think I've got one in the works that I could actually use for that. Uh, turned out pretty nice. Claudio Bardelli Jr. with his qualification attempt in the 91 car. So Paul Brown looks like he's the top time. Looks like a Givaldo Spindola, Spindola in the uh, 68 car in his qualification attempt.
31.193 is the time to beat. Javaldo with a 32.043. 15 on the grid for Javaldo with a 68 car. Lap number two as he comes off turn four. He's down on that low line. 32.090, still 15th on the grid. Don't forget the Saturday Night Thunder headed your way tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Pocono Raceway, 80 lap race and the Saturday Night Thunder race number seven. Four races to go and uh, Pocono is a very, very tough track there with uh, being a, uh, a big fat triangle. A tough one, the tricky triangle, and uh, I'll be racing in this race. We call this Beat the Broadcaster Night. So if you're interested in coming out and beating up on me, come on out, man. I challenge you. See if you got the right stuff. <laughs> That's coming up tomorrow. We're going to uh, have a great one, man. A lot of guys really like Pocono. I'm sort of uh, indifferent to Pocono. It depends on the uh, the car. I think I like it in Indy cars. I'm not real fond of it in stock cars, but we'll see how I fare. I'm just looking for a top five finish, maybe, and uh, you know, maybe I'll, I'll eke out a win. Who never, you never know, man. I've never won at Pocono before, but. Uh, Nevertheless, uh, that's coming up tomorrow night, the Saturday Night Thunder Classic uh, HORL Stock Car Series. This thing's been going on for 20 years. This is race number seven of the season. I'm excited about it, man. 80 laps. So right now, these guys have uh, a little under two minutes left to go in the qualification session. Everybody is qualified that is going to go out and qualify. Uh, we're just waiting on the... Uh, uh, the clock to run out. These guys are actually getting the uh, the drivers meeting right now to sort of save time. To get some guys joining us in the chat session. Good to see uh, Claudio Bardelli Jr. Of course, he's out here racing tonight. Jair Oliveira. Those guys just got done running Indy cars, man. What a gangsters. These guys are just flat out gangsters. Javaldo Linares, uh, Javaldo Spindola. Uh, he's out here racing with us tonight. One of our uh, very, very loyal HORL members. Uh, of course, uh, Claudio out here routinely as well. Good to see him. Chris Hughes is good turnout. Where's Chris at tonight, man? Was he doing working or something? What's going on with Chris Hughes? Uh, good to see Chris in the chat session. We definitely miss him on the track. Hopefully we'll see him back out here soon. So it looks like the qualification session has ended. We'll take a look at the official qualification results. Paul Brown qualifies in P1. Frank Marizon will start in the second position. We'll see if we can uh, get that a little darker so you can see it. There you go. Todd Roblar qualifies in third. Christian Wilson, what a great qualification uh, attempt there for him. He qualified or position. 
effort for him in the 30 car. He qualifies in the fourth position. So he's been out practicing, man. He's ready to go. Got a new wheel, and he's ready to uh, go. It looks like that's going pretty well for him. Jim Willis in the sixth position. Inside row three, Gary Madu starts outside row three in the 3X machine. Ed Palumbo in the 54 starts in the eighth position. Claudio Bardelli Jr. in the 91 starts in ninth. Tim Lansbury will start in the 10th position. Starting in 11th is Sean Jacobs in the 24. Jesus Iglesias in the 22. Starts in the 12th position. John Stanley, 13th. Zach Casey will start in the 14th position. Devaldo Spindola starts 15th. Glenn Wilson in the 43 car will start 16th. Ricky Emerson starts 17th in the 5 car. Danilo Coelho starts in the 8X car in the 18th position. So there's the qualification results. All right, we're back. Hey, thanks so much for coming in here to Turn Left TV. Looks like I got about six and a half minutes left in the warm-up session. Jim Willis already picking his winner. Gary the Madman Madu is due. Keep an eye on him. How about keep an eye on Jim Willis? Take your eye off that guy, man. I have a feeling that uh, Jim Willis might uh, that 53 car, there's uh, Gary Madu, so we're keeping an eye on him right now. He's sliding through the grass here, so hopefully guys are going to be patient coming through the trioval area. That can get a little dicey. We have 21 drivers joining us right now. Right now in the warm-up session, five and a half minutes left before we get the command to start the engine.
So the deal is here, really, you got to think about uh, you got to think about this track in, in the con context of the uh, trioval area or the access road. I should say the trioval, the access road. You've got to pit using the access road. You see the three X there coming off the track to use that access road, and it is tricky, man. I mean, you really want to get as much speed as you can, but this is flat. And if you get into that grass, uh, the car is going to spin out, and it is tough there at the last. You see that three X car missing the uh, pit and coming back out on track, so. It is tough coming around on that access, coming around turn four, to make sure you uh, get it in uh, in between the walls there, in between the, uh, the barrels, to get on to pit lane. A little under four minutes left to go. And again, thanks so much for coming in here to uh, Turn Left TV. Well, who got the big win last week? That was Paul Brown at Talladega. Man, this was a crazy finish. Three wide, green, white checker. And uh, Sean Jacobs was a lap down trying to, uh, you know, hope for the best. He was on, well, the tail end of the lead lap technically. But look at that, John Stanley in the 12 car challenging that 77. But the 77 had a little help there with that uh, 24 in front of him and uh, takes the race win. But I'll tell you what, it was a, uh, it was a photo finish between the two of those guys. Uh, the 77 car gets the win, so congratulations to him. Can he repeat? So congratulations to Paul Brown for getting the win at Talladega. Alifa Yuba says he hopes that he can pray, uh, uh, hopes and prays that he can uh, participate next weekend. Absolutely, man. Come on out. We'd love to have you. Mixing it up here in the stock cars. Get a good idea to see how hard that is. See, he gets in the grass right there. This is tough. It is really, really tough to keep this thing on this access road. I think just be patient. Got to be patient here. Leave by you by doing the dab for us in the chat. All right, we got about 30 seconds left here before we get the command to start the engines. Don't forget, man, we've got a big race coming up tomorrow afternoon. That's Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Love this track. This is my home track. I live about 40 miles away from IMS. Been there many times. So uh, race number five in the Saturday Showdown Series, man. This is going to be a big one, man. we got a lot of drivers from, uh, from Russia and the uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, also Central Europe as well joining us with our uh, normal clientele so so don't forget to join us uh, there all right boys and girls we're ready to go
we are ready to go. All right, all right, all right. Gentlemen, start your engine! All right, here we go. All right. Oh, we already heard that, man. <laughs> here we go, boys and girls. The starting order, Paul Brown in the 77 starts P1. Craig Marazon starts in the second position. Todd Robillard starts third. Christian Wilson starts in the fourth position. Starting in the fifth position is Preston Hassel in the 27. Jim Willis starts in sixth. Gary Madu starts in the seventh position. Ed Palumbo starts in eighth. Starting in the ninth position is Claudio Bardelli Jr. Tim Lansbury in the 82 will start 10. Sean Jacobs 11th and Jesus Iglesias in the 22 starts in 12. Starting in the 13th position will be John Stanley in the 12 car. Zach McCasey in the 29 starts 14. Javaldo Spindle in the 68, 15. And Glenn Wilson starts in the 16th position. Starting in 17th will be Ricky Emerson in the five car. Danilo Coelho starts in the 8X in the 18th position. Ismael Castro in the 70 starts 19. Arthur Fiera starts in the 20th position in the four car. And Marconi de Lima. In the 2X starts in the 21st position. Big, big field here tonight. This can be a tough, tough track, man. You gotta be really, really patient here. Exercise a lot of patience. Not going to win it on the first lap, but you can certainly, certainly get some damage that could cost you the race on the first lap. All right, pace car is in. Here we go. This is going to be wild here at Palm Springs. Boogity, 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 boogity. Let's go racing, boys. Seven down to the bottom line is the 41. Up on the outside line, Craig Barazan in that 41 car. Oh, already got a car up the track there. 77, they're capturing the lead. The 41 in second. The 90 of uh, Todd Robillard starting to inch around there on the outside line. He knows where that uh, fast line's going to be there in the long run. One, two, three, knows the tail. Preston Hassel in fourth. Look at Preston Hassel in the 27th car in the fourth position. Christian Wilson up the track. Looks like he might have gotten into the wall. The 30 car in the wall here. Just going to keep that car up in the wall and so he doesn't come down the track and get into somebody. So he's lost a ton of position. He's now back to 14. Back up here with the race leader. Good clean star here. We've had a little bit of trouble here. But nobody coming around. Archie Gatt up on the outside line. He and Javaldo Spindola. Oh, there's some contact there. Ricky Emerson gets into the back of Javaldo. Did you see that? Ricky Emerson got into the back of Javaldo. Take a look at this again. This is Ricky Emerson in the five car. He gets a, a ton of steam here and just oh, runs right into the back of that 68 car. It gets that car sideways. The 8X almost gets into him as well. How about this, Sean Jacobs in the 24 and the 12 of John Stanley side by side. That uh, 24 car picks up that position. Big Bears on here down on the inside line, challenging for the race lead. Back 
about that 41 car there. The uh, Craig Marazon driving in the uh, the old Lord Stoppleworth paint scheme. Now, one of our memorial drivers, well, we do really miss Lauren, man. I've got a little tear in my eye right now thinking about thinking about Lauren. Good to see that 41 car up front here with the 77 car behind. I know this 77 car got a heavy heart as well. 41, Craig Marazon leading the field. How about that, the 77, Paul Brown running in the second position. Bob Robillard in third. How about that Palumbo here? He's running in the uh, fifth position. That 54 car, that mellow yellow sponsor machine. Good clean start here. It's Bell Castro in the 70 car, Givaldo Spindola in the 68. Battling it out, that high line seems to start to work here. Castro using the outside line. That NASCAR VR sponsor Camaro now picks up a spot there. Up to 16, Givaldo now back to 17. Take a look at uh, Claudio Bardelli Jr. here in the 91 to 53, and Jim Willis just ahead of him. Those tags there is uh, Jim Willis there starting to uh, think about moving up here. We'll take a look at Jim Willis in the 53 car. He's uh, putting some pressure there on the 3X. Gary Madu backs off. Now he's getting a good run there off the turn. Jim Willis down on the bottom line here challenging Gary Madu. Not able to pull it off there. It's the 91 now looking uh, on the high side. Good battle here side by side. Ace of Seglacy is up the track there a little bit. It's the 24 shot. Jenkins in that Western Auto Sponsor machine down to the bottom line. Side by side, looking out of the back now of uh, Sean Jacobs' machine. Asus Iglesias in the 22. Tim Lansbury in the 82. <laughs> 91, Claudio Bardelli Jr. down on the bottom side of the 3X. Gary Madu in that 3X machine up on the high side. Claudio Bardelli Jr. Trying to pick up two spots here. Oh, the 54 gets a little bit loose. Coming off the turn as a 91. Cash it in. Got a little help there with the 53 car. Side by side. Great racing there. 91 picking up that spot with the 53. Says, hey, I want that spot. Bardelli Jr. Jim Willis in the 53. Bardelli Jr. in the 91. Side by side. Great racing right now. Bill Castro continuing to try to get some spots here. Zach McCasey, the 29, down on the bottom side, given the high side in that 70 car. Zach McCasey, the 29. Now back to the 14th position. He's starting to look back on that low side. Says, hey, I got something for you here on the low side. He's going to get that Toyota working. 30 of Christian Wilson there, that Mustang, that number 30. Side by side. Oh, he drifts up the track there just a little bit as the 29 slips through. Paul Brown rec reclaiming the lead with this pass. The 77 and the 41 battling it out. It's like old times right there. The 77 getting back by taking the race lead. The 41. Greg Marazine back to the uh, second position. Great racing right now. Gary Madu and uh, Ed Palumbo having a boxing match right now between the two of these guys. Oh, right there, contact! Gary Madu slid up into the 54. That's going to fire him up. You know that. 82 trying to slip through. You got to take a look at that. Oh, my heavens, man. Look at the, out of the front of Tim Lansbury's machine. Watch this. Contact right there. And then Lansbury trying to slip through. And there was almost contact there between the 54 and the 82.
Take a look at Archer Vieta here. They're three wide. Archer Vieta in the four car. He's starting to make some moves. He's getting by that 3X machine. Archer Vieta now moving up to the uh, ninth position. Gary Madu back to 10th. Uh, F. Lumpo in 11th. Take a look at 27. Preston Hassel out there by himself. Right. Oh, he comes off the uh, turn and smacks the wall. Off turn two, it smacks the wall. So that 27 car going to have some damage. That AMD sponsor machine now probably has a little right side damage he's dealing with. Oh, my heavens. A lot of action going on right now. Todd Robillard. Getting by Craig Marazon. This is just a moment ago. It's a 90 car. That Freightliner sponsor Camaro getting by the 41. Craig Marazon. Bob Robillard now up in the second position. I'll tell you what. I've seen him be very, very strong at this track. You better keep your eye on that guy. He loves these races with these long runs, slick track. Get up on the wheel. This guy is one of the best. Tim Lansbury, Claudio Bardelli Jr. battling it out. Lansbury in the 82, Skyline Chili Ford Mustang. Claudio Bardelli Jr. in that Camaro up on the high side. Lansbury gets it, Bardelli Jr. now back to eight. Five car down on the inside line. Oh, they're three wide. Oh, the five cars back of the wall. He got loose and uh, hangs on to that thing. My heavens, did you see that? How the heck did he keep from wrecking that car? How did he keep from coming around? Ricky Emerson in the five. There was a whole lot of work in that wheel, that's for sure. that man oh man Jesus Iglesias just uh, gets out of the gas at the right time and uh, gets around this is on board here with Iglesias he gets out of the throttle and that five car coming around right there it was uh, lucky he didn't uh, spin all the way around that would have brought out a caution flag Not this, uh, yeah. Sean Jacobs down on the inside line. Oh, man, he got down on the apron as the 53 goes down to avoid Jacobs coming back up the track. Side by side there is the 53. Jim Willis getting by, taking over P5. Now the back of Jim Willis' machine, Sean Jacobs in that Western Auto sponsor number 24 car, trying to fight back. He wants that spot back, and he's going to get it. It's that outside line. I talked about that in the pre-race. The outside line, that long run is pretty good. Paul Brown continuing the lead. Bob Robillard in second. Preston Hassel in third. Sean Jacobs now up to the fourth position. Sean Jacobs there getting by. Uh, taking over P4. Great racing right here. Back here and uh, take a look at this. Tim Lansbury, Jim Willis. Lansbury in that Skyline Chili Ford Mustang. He's going to try to get two here. He gets one. Oh, can he squeeze that 82 car in there? Willis going to give him a little bit of room. And Willis, one of our Florida drivers, number 53. 82, Tim Lansbury hails from New York. Guy to the bottom side here, challenging. 41 car for position. 82 now getting by the 41. This man Castro in the 70 car. Claudio Bartelli Jr. in the 91. The 70 car gets by, takes over P8. It's the 91 now back to nine. Christian Wilson trying to bounce back here in that 30 car. He started in the fourth position, hit the wall there early and dropped back. Now taking over uh, P13, getting by Gary Madu. Gary Madu has uh, got some uh, handling issues on that 3X machine right now. This track.
track is slick. Look at this 82. He is starting to roll right now. The uh, Skyline Chili Ford Mustang now catching up to the AMD Rising Spotted Ford Mustang of uh, Preston Hassel. And Tim Lansbury going to take over that position. How about this? Marconi Lima coming out here and racing with us tonight. You see Marconi out, man. Battling uh, John Stanley. John Stanley now back to the 18th position as Marconi Lima, the 2X, uh, picks up that spot. We've been caution free here, 24 laps in. It's a tough track, too, man. No caution flags here so far. Four car continuing to uh, move up the track here. Look at this, the four car, Arthur Vieta, down on the bottom side. Claudio Bardelli Jr. in the 91 up on the high side, and the 90, or excuse me, the four car picks up that spot. Sean Jacobs, look at this, man. I tell you what, this 24 car is strong tonight. He's now picking up P2, getting right the 90 car. How about that? 24 now up to P2. We're starting to see some guys making pit stops. Preston Hassel on pit lane. Gary Madu on pit lane. Take a look at our side-by-side -side view as Preston Hassel finishing up his pit stop. Oh, he's coming down pit lane right there, the 27. Sorry about that. Todd Robillard on pit lane. We get a ton of guys coming down pit lane. Here the race leader, 77, Paul Brown coming down pit lane. Ismael Castro now to the race leader. You see the 27 car finishing up his pit stop. Ismael Castro in the 70 car, the race leader. I would uh, suggest to you, there we go, that he's going to be coming down pit lane. you got to be really patient on this access road, man. You get in that grass, and this car's coming around. Yeah, best to be patient there. Maybe give up a little bit of time. Keep yourself from spinning out. Ismael Castro on pit lane. Arthur Vieira on pit lane. Jesus Iglesias on pit lane. So Iglesias in the... Uh, 18th position now on pit lane. Marconi Lima to the race lead in the 2X car. The Lima has not yet pitted. Looks like he's coming down pit lane. The 2X, see Zach Casey finishing up his pit stop of the 29 car. So Marconi Lima, the race leader, now coming down pit lane. And a little bit of speed there, almost got in the grass. Keeps it out of the grass. Baldo Spindle in the 68, he's now making his pit stop. I think when it all shakes out, the 77 is going to be back to the race lead. Ricky Emerson now finishing up his pit stop in that five car. PlayStation sponsored machine. Coming back out on track, he is shown in the 19th position. It looks like we've had pretty much, uh, we got uh, Gibaldo Spindola on pit lane, it looks like. But, uh, I think we pretty much cycled through pit stops. No caution flag so far to 77 of the 1.3 second lead over Sean Jacob. Ty Robillard in the third position. Preston Hassel four. Tim Lansbury is in fifth. We've got some great racing going on. Take a look at the P2. That battle for the second position. 24 has it. The 90 wants it. Uh, Camaros here racing together. Sean Jacobs in the 24, 90 of Todd Robillard. And I tell you what, that 24 car looks like he has a good long run car. He's worked his way up through traffic and now in P2. Hey, what, man? Ismael Castro's got a good run going here tonight. He is running in the sixth position. Very good run here for this 70 car. 
Kind of one of our part-time uh, racers there from Brazil. We've got a ton of Brazilian racers race with us. I mean, uh, Castro, uh, Bardelli Jr., Vieira, uh, Marconi Lima, uh, Danilo racing with us, Jesus, Givaldo. Great, great fans here racing. We've got a couple cars, one lap down. Looks like Jesus Iglesias is the first car one lap down, so he's in the lucky uh, dog position in that 22 car. And uh, yellow, we, get yellow, a, yellow. we got a yellow flag now as we were going to look at uh, the uh, orange crush. It's uh, Jesus Barbecue Iglesias. <laughs> Looks like we got a caution flag here. There's caution flag of the night. Looks like maybe Glenn Wilson might have come around. We'll take a look here. Glenn Wilson in the 43, gets up the track right there, and then, oh! Almost saves that car, but then it comes around right there. Woo! Sideways on the track. Man, those guys did a great job of missing him. My heaven. Valdo did a fantastic job of uh, missing uh, Glenn there. So we're going board here with Valdo. On board here with uh, Givaldo. Ow! And uh, barely misses. Great move there by Givaldo. So the first caution flag of the night, not bad, man. 34 lap run there, caution flag. Seventy-seven of uh, Paul Brown, the leader. Twenty-four, Sean Jacobs in second. Well, these guys just coming back out on track after making pit stop. You know, so maybe got about five laps or so on those tires. I personally would pit. I mean, I'm, every opportunity I'm going to do, I'm going to pit. Uh, except that you know, really, really late in the race, I'm going to make a pit stop. And don't forget, we got some great racing headed your way tomorrow at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Two races tomorrow. We got uh, starting off uh, Saturday with uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time live right here on Turn Left TV. It's Indy, the showdown, uh, the Saturday showdown series. A great series, man. I expect a huge field for this 80 lap race at Indy, and, uh, race number five of the season. And then later that night, would we'll be at Pocono Raceway, 80 lap race, race number seven in the Saturday Night Thunder. 80 laps at Pocono, the Tricky Triangle. This is beat the broadcaster night. You want to come out and uh, beat up on me? Come on out, man. I've been having a fun this season. I've uh, been getting out of the uh, broadcast booth, getting behind the wheel, just showing guys that I can actually get the car around the track uh, without uh, causing too much damage. I'm doing fairly well this season, so uh, having a lot of fun. We see some guys coming down pit lane here. Paul Brown, the 77 car, our race leader, making a pit stop. It's going to be a busy, busy pit lane here. Busy pit lane. We'll keep our eye on pit lane as these guys, some guys might actually only take two tires here. We'll see. It's the 82, I think he might have done a two-tire stop. Got a little battle there, the 91 and the 77. Great little battle there. Now 
Jesus Iglesias in the 22. Shown as the race leader. We were just going to look at his car. Well, I'll just finish this paint scheme for him, man. I want to see what it looks like out on the track. What do you think, man? I'm not a bad little painter, huh? First, you know, we got to include the Turn Left TV logo. But yeah, you know, yeah. I'm not a super great painter, but, uh, you know, hey, look, man, I put some uh, some great little uh, swag on there. Some I know uh, where he's from in, uh, in Spain, so decided to put some local stuff on there for him. I think it looks pretty good. So come down pit lane there, get that serviced. Hopefully he's not going to get the logos washed off of it. Jesus has been racing with us for a long time in one of those temporary cars, and I thought it was about time that we get him a, a permanent car. I think pretty soon we'll see uh, Tony Furtado back out here racing with us in his uh, paint scheme that I've done for him. So be excited to see that album track. So the 82 of Tim Lansbury is our race leader. It's been a good race here so far, really, man. We've had just had that one caution flag. I'm not trying to jinx it, but this has been a fun race to watch here uh, tonight. And uh, I love this track. I mean, I love driving this track. I love broadcasting races from this track. Uh, it, it, and a lot of drivers are, man, this thing is uh, so slick, and it really does make for some great racing because you have to concentrate on handling the car, and it's tough to make passes. The outside line will work. The inside line works. And guys are so... Uh, you know, focused on trying to keep that car pointed in the right direction, keep it from spinning out. It does make for some really, really good racing. Uh, so I'm excited uh, uh, always when Homestead comes up on the schedule. And we've got a huge field here tonight, or a great big field here, 21 uh, drivers, and it's been a good, clean race. Keep our fingers crossed here. I'm not trying to jinx it. I'm not superstitious or anything. Not superstitious or anything, but I want a good, clean race here. And uh, it has been so far. Uh, it was some great, great racing. Good side by side. We've seen some three wide, and uh, the only really tricky part here tonight has been coming down pit lane under green. Some guys have really complained a little bit about that uh, that grassy uh, area there uh, between uh, the access roads you see and uh, and the track. That can be a little dicey when you come too fast on that access road. You can get on that grassy area and, and uh, cause the car to turn around. So, but nonetheless, it's been a fun one. We're uh, back to uh, to two wide here, and it looks like we're going to go green this time by. So I'll get my ugly mug off the screen and uh, get ready to uh, get back at it. They, uh, say thanks so much for everybody coming in here and watching the race, whether you're watching it live or uh, coming back and watching it on replay. Greatly appreciate your support here at Turn Left TV. And invite your friends to come out and uh, join the channel. We'd like to have some subscribers. We need like 380 more subscribers before we get in the uh, – uh, the money. All right, uh, 90 on the inside line. Lansbury has elected to take the outside line. He will control the restart. Pace car's in, although the lights are still on the pace car. I guess uh, that guy's drunk driving the pace car. Here we go. Ready to go back green. Lansbury in the 82, the 90 of Robel Todd Robillard on the bottom side here as they go into turn one side by side. 90 inches forward, 77 pushing that 90 car. They are side by side there in the 77 and the 91. Uh, somebody was almost coming around right there. In fact, Mud Casey was sideways coming around that turn. Knight of Todd Robillard, the new race leader. Down the back stretch, the 82 in second. 91, Bartelli Jr. picks up the uh, third position. Race there is like Claudio Bartelli Jr. in the 91, now in the second spot. 
excuse me, the third position. 77 in fourth. The four of Archer Vieira running in P5. Got a good battle here. John Stanley and Zach McCasey. John Stanley picking up a spot. There's McCasey in the 29 in the ninth position. John Stanley in eighth. He's working at high line. Great racing there behind. Get out the back of John Stanley's machine. Zach McCasey in that 29 car. So good racing here. Again, it is a tough track, man, but it makes for some fun racing. The Emerson and Gary Madu here uh, battling it out. Gary Madu up on the high line in the 53, uh, the 53 just ahead of him. That 3X is Gary Madu. Ricky Emerson down on the bottom line there trying to make that PlayStation sponsored uh, Toyota work. As the 53 goes down to the bottom line, the 3X is ahead of Steve. The 53 goes trying to do that slide job on the 41, not able to pull it off. On board here with Ricky Emerson. Is that getting a little wild there in front of him? Harry Madu has a head of steam on the outside with that 3X machine. He's going to pick up a spot and get by that 53. 47 in this mix as well. Preston Hassel on the outside line of that AMD sponsor machine. He's now up to the uh, 12th position, 13th position. Hastings uh, uh, should be uh, uh, the 12th car of John Stanley. Uh, just in front of him is Sean Jacobs. Bob Stanley running in the eighth position. Sean Jacobs is in seventh. It's now Castro with the 70 car. He's been fast all night long, man. So we'll keep our eye on that 70 car. He could be the sleeper here tonight. Now running in the sixth position. Good run for him, but he's got some help there up front with uh, Morgelli Jr. and Archer Vieira. Those guys run together a lot, so uh, maybe a little teamwork going on. Bob Roblar continuing to lead here in the 90 car. We got a uh, car coming around. Claudio Bardelli Jr. Oh, he's on his lid right there. The 2X makes contact. Bardelli Jr. on his lid. Oh, my heavens. Bardelli Jr. on his lid. Let's take a look and see what happened. Claudio Bardelli Jr. Right here. I don't know if there's uh, who initiated that contact, but it looked like. Oh, the 91 hits hard. Look at that car rolling across the track. Zach with Casey, heads up move by him. I'm missing that. The 91 flipping that car over. The 12 down on the inside to miss it. Take a look here. It's like, uh, oh, that is a hard lick right there. Hard lick. Mardelli Jr. flipping over. Glacius almost uh, gets into him. Zach McCasey, I don't know how he missed this. He's on board with McCasey, watch this. Get no room. That was a uh, very violent wreck.
We're at the 90. See if guy, I, I suggest you guys are going to come back down pit lane here, man. This place is so tough on tires, and we do see guys coming down pit lane here. We know Bardelli Jr. is going to have some pretty extensive uh, damage repairs uh, that he's going to need to uh, get on that car. see uh, Bardelli Jr. there in that 91. The guys uh, finish up her pit stop. Look who the race leader is. It's that beautiful paint scheme. That's what it is. Look at that. We got to look at that again. Look at that, man. Oh, my God. That is just sexy right there. That's Orange Crush. That is awesome. So, Jesus Barbecue Iglesias is in front. Robillard is in the second position. Smell Castro third. Tim Lansbury fourth. Arcadetta is in fifth. want to say hey thanks for coming out here and joining me on turn left tv peace to everybody out there man hit that subscribe button we had some good racing here tonight uh just our second caution flag and uh that one was a wild one, wasn't it but we have some great racing here 21 drivers you're more than welcome to come out and join us uh don't forget to uh click on those links down in the description of the channel you can also get a link over to the discord server if you're interested in joining us uh join us on discord and uh, again, please hit that subscribe button. Share my videos with all your friends. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and the like button. Oh, wait a minute. That's the same thing. Okay. Uh, and then uh, make a donation. If you'd like to make a donation through PayPal, you can do it right up there by clicking on the link up on the banner of the channel and uh, helping me out here. But I'd like you uh, coming out and watching the race. I really appreciate that. And I'm having a good time here tonight. This is a fun race. I was worried that nobody was going to show up. Look at that. We got a great turnout. There's uh, Iglesias in the most beautiful car ever on pit lane. <laughs> if I do say so myself, wait till you see Tony Furtado's uh, paint skin. That one's gangster as well. Uh, I'm rubbing my, I'm, I'm patting myself on the back here. So we're getting ready to go green. We take a drink of coffee. Looks like Todd Robot's going to start on the inside line. That 70 car, man, I'm telling you, keep your eye on the 70. Uh, he's on the outside line. He's been fast tonight. The 82, Tim Lansbury's been fast. He's on the inside line starting P3. Art Vieta starts in fourth. Sean Jacobs will start in the fifth position. John Stanley starts in sixth. We got some, uh, we got some gangsters up there up front. Arizon, uh, Madhu, Willis, Muncasey now in the top 10. So here we go. Pace car is off. 
Back to green. 70 car gets a heck of a jump. My heavens, man. Something happened in that uh, 90. I'm not sure. 90 car uh, fell back there, lost the positions. So he's now back to fourth. So he started on the inside line. What happened? Uh, another yellow flag here. I didn't even hear that when I was uh, going on there. But Castro, the race leader here, he's going to have to slow down there, wait on the pace car. Let's see what happened here on this restart. And I think somebody may have just spun their tires. Sure. Oh, he got out of the gas. He got hit. Take a look here. Take a look. The 41 got into the back of the uh, 24. Slows down. And uh, 53 gets into the back of him. An accordion effect. And he is in the wall. Check up fast enough, got in the back of him, and uh, he spun her out. Uh, Ismael Castro, the uh, race leader. Archipiada is in second. So that was just a consequence there. Somebody checking up or got into the back of, uh, looks like the 41 got into the back of the 24. Woed up and then the car behind him not having enough time and got, and, uh, got into the back and spun him. Man, we had caution free up to uh, like lap 40, somewhere around there. And then uh, now we've had like three cautions. Uh, love that we've got some uh, love how we have some spam going on in our chat session right now so I can't uh, kind of hard for me to multitask uh, hopefully I'm hitting that so I apologize to the viewers if that's something that's come up on the chat there nothing I can control 
sometimes. So I don't know what's going on with that with YouTube and stuff that that stuff gets through there. And don't forget, we got some great racing headed your way tomorrow at Indy in the High Octane Racing League Saturday Showdown Series. My home track, 80 laps at Indy, and a great little race series, race number five in an eight race season. So we've uh, we took Christmas off. We had Bristol last week. That was a little bit of a mess, but we have Indy this week, and I'm excited about that one, man. 80 laps. That's my home track, man. So everybody's going to come over for a beer, or we got a rush. A lot of Russian drivers, man. We're going to have some vodka for them. <laughs> That'll be a lot of fun. Dennis Vandeman watching the race in here tonight. I wish I was moving up in the world. All right, Ismael Castro is going to start up front here in this 70 car. Uh, Artie Vieta starts in the second position. John Stanley will start third. Todd Robillard in the 90 will start in the fourth position. 3X of uh, Gary Madu starts in fifth. Tim Lansbury will start sixth. Get after it now, I believe. Coming down the back stretch, we're too wide, so that means we're going to go green. Just two races to go, including tonight. Next week, we'll crown the champion in the Bushwhacker Series. 70 car will lead the field to take the green flag. Here we go. This track's a little slick here. Now with all the rubber put down. Green flag, go, go, go. Seventy car to the inside as a 12. He's got a good start there. Now in the middle of those two guys. That car underneath is 70 car, the race leader. John Stanley down in the second position, down on the inside. He's trying to uh, get by Archiviata there to clear him to uh, seal second. But the four car's got something to say about that. John Stanley, however, drifting up the track there just a little bit. Those guys, oh, the 12 car getting into the wall. Got into the wall as the four car had to get out of the uh, gas to keep forgetting Gary Manu slips through with the 3X machine. Gary Badu now in the second position. It's now Castro, the race leader. John Stanley, the 12 car. He's made contact with the wall. He's in the third spot. Arch Vieta is in fourth. Shaw Jacobs in this mix. He is running in the fifth position. This is wild. He's got to sort of yeah, get yeah, it figured yeah. out now. Knows the tail here, but we got another caution flag. My heavens, man. But we had about 40 laps of caution-free racing, and we've had like three cautions here, four cautions right in a row. 
as uh, Ismael Castro will take the uh, caution flag. Everybody cranked up the intensity here uh, uh, to go in this back half of the race, and it's gotten a little busy. A little ugly. Michael and Casey, they're having some issues under caution. In the 53 looks like getting together. My heavens, these guys uh, slamming into one another. We'll take a look and see what happened. Iglesias in the 22 on the inside line. He comes up the track and gets into the 91. Looks like he almost got into the uh, 8X. He had a head of steam, and those guys come around, and uh, Shane reaction, the uh, 92, and uh, this causes a huge pile up ahead. A lot of cars there tore up. It's the 41, 8X also involved in that. Look at the Danilo in the 8X machine. So Iglesias goes up the track right here, and then uh, car just lost grip. He slides up the track. The 8X gets uh, taken out by the 91 after the 91 gets turned, and he spins in front of the 2X. The 41 has nowhere to go, and he comes down and gets into the uh, uh, 91 car. So just a chain reaction there. We had a fair amount of extracurricular. Take a look at this out of the front of Craig Marizon's machine. He gets turned. Oh, man, hard look there for the 41 car. Wowza. <laughs> Wowza. Guys uh, making pit stops here, so uh, getting some fresh tires. Some of them uh, pound, pounding those fenders back out. Uh, Robillard, the race leader in the 90 car. Looks like uh, Will D joining us in the uh, chat sessions. A lot. It's my bedtime. What? It's like 10 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Good to see Will out. Dennis, of course. Uh, Coming out and joining us as well. We're uh, we're getting the bots now, so I guess I'm moving up in the world, according to Dennis. I don't know how to stop it, man. I really don't, uh, other than you know just block it. You know, I've uh, actually changed the settings when I set up a race that you have to be uh, subscribed for X amount of time before you can actually post, and uh, looks like somehow. Those things are getting through still, so I don't know what the uh, the answer for that is. Saturday Night Thunder headed your way tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Qualifications begin at Pocono Raceway, the Tricky Triangle. It's race number seven in the Saturday Night Thunder. There's four races to go. 
uh, this is a fun series. Great cup series, uh, open setups. And of course, you have the 1X tire, 1X fuel setting. The races are a little bit longer than the, uh, the Xfinity series, uh, but the racing is absolutely spot on, man. Great uh, mod here, a lot of fun, and an 80 lap race uh, coming up tomorrow at the Tricky Triangle. All right, it looks like uh, the 90 Pod Robillard will uh, start in the uh, in P1. 27 to, uh, Preston Hassel up to the second position. All right, here we go. Looks like we lost a driver there, connection issue. So hopefully uh, we'll uh, see the sorting work itself out. So Todd Robillard, the leader, he's uh, followed by the 82, Tim Lansbury. Seven having a battle here. The Exodus picks the five. Ricky Emerson has that car up front. He's got that car up there. He's been pretty quiet here, uh, kind of keep the pace in the back, maybe uh, trying to save the stuff. But now looking to uh, take over maybe the fourth position or third position. Lansbury down to the inside as Emerson battling on the outside. They're almost three wide coming off the turn as Robillard the leader. Here Madu in the 3X machine. Now back to the sixth position. My heavens, man. We got another yellow flag here. Let's get this figured out. Little slick, but guys are getting a little bit impatient, I believe, on some of these passes and uh, taking a little bit, a uh, little aggressive stance on these restarts. What a great race we had here early on. Now we've got some caution flags. One after the other. Hearing that might be on the... Uh, 30 car. Let's look and see what happened here as the 30 gets up the track and he smacks the wall. Oh, hard lick and he's on his lid. 
birdie card at the board on its lid. Man, that was a hard lift. Take a look at another angle here. Smacks the wall right there and it comes across the track and head of steam and it hits side wall. Hits is uh, probably made a tire mark there from his roof. I have no idea, but that was amazing. Yeah. Watch this, man. He makes, the, uh, makes contact with the wall right here outside, and then uh, there's the tire marks. Okay, his tires are on the ground. Now he's going to hit the wall. And watch this. Tire mark with the lid. Maybe that was from the window net. So that was a single car incident there in the 30. Uh, Christian Wilson. And so Robillard back to following the pace car. Forget to join us over to highoctaneracing.net if you'll, uh, you'll get a, a, a link to uh, join us on Discord if you're interested in racing. Of course, the schedules uh, for the race, uh, racing is uh, posted on the main page, and then the, the series access to the series page is there at the top of the page. And then, of course, the R Factor two times if you're interested in seeing what guys are running throughout the week to get an idea of uh, what you need to be uh, running to uh, be competitive. Get on the R Factor two times to see who's been on the server. on out and uh, help us out by uh, visiting highoctaneracing.net. Arizona on pit lane in that 41 car. Also the 30, uh, of course, he's getting that damage fixed. How about the 53? I know he's had a ton of damage uh, getting into uh, a couple scrapes in the... Uh, 68 car having a battle. Off pit lane. Oh, Will Deese is looking forward to Pocono, so uh, maybe going to come out and race with us on Saturday. How about that, huh? Pit road will be open this time. I enjoy racing. Uh, you know, obviously, that's the way I started out, you know, way back in I got it. It would be really back in in the 90s. Uh, I'd say somewhere on about the 95, 96 range. Probably a little, maybe even a little bit earlier than that. Started sim racing. Probably taken a little bit more serious with NASCAR 1, but I definitely had some you know, pretty uh, early sims, to say the least. The F1 sim early on, and, and then also a... Uh, of course, everybody had that little three by five floppy uh, yeah. IndyCar, uh, uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway, or, or the IndyCar series, which is really what gave a uh, what gave a uh, you know me the, the start, or made, gave a lot of people the start in the Pappy. But I, you know, more what I do now is admin the race league, and then you know do some uh, do a lot of broadcasting. There's a lot of work that goes into setting up broadcasts. I love doing that. I've always wanted to do this. You know, uh, some guys uh, from HORL broadcast some uh, races back in the day, and I thought that was one of the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Uh, Mike McNeely and uh, Chris Gradanis, and uh, also. Uh, you know, some, some other guys there at, at HORL, here at HOL, I should say, some old guard HORL guys. Uh, AJ uh, Shoemaker, he uh, was in on the broadcast, and, and uh, you know, I thought, man, this is really pretty cool. I got interviewed, I think I won a race and got interviewed one night. I thought this was the coolest thing ever, and uh, decided I wanted to try to do this someday, and here we are. We've been, I think I got somewhere around four or 500 races now that are posted, some of them hidden, of course, but, uh, I've done 
broadcast four or five hundred races. We see guys coming down pit lane here on uh, lap 71, and we're winding down the laps. We're running a lot of laps under caution here on this back half of the race, and I'm sure we want to finish this under green. Uh, but, you know, I enjoy getting back in the uh, driver's seat and, and uh, you know, racing. We're getting a one to go, it looked like, maybe. The press hassle is elected to stay out, so this is interesting. Uh, but Saturday nights in the, uh, in the Saturday Night Thunder give me a chance to actually get back in the driver's seat, kind of uh, relax a little bit, not worry so much about the broadcasting, and uh, just get out and get behind the wheel and, and uh, swap some paint with some of these guys. And, uh, you know, I've... You know, I think I'm doing fairly well, man. You know, I haven't uh, not quite as good as I used to be, I think, but uh, still, nonetheless, it's I've never really been that as good as I was in the uh, in the Pappy uh, here in R Factor Two, man. This is uh, a whole nother level that I can't really uh, say that I can keep up with Paul Browns of the world and uh, Ed Palombos of the world and uh, Todd Robillards, but uh, definitely do my best. Preston's uh, fantastic. Uh, as well, and I, I tell you, you know, Will has, uh, you know, he's, I know he's in here uh, watching the race right now, but I've been very impressed with him coming back, getting back into, of course, you know, getting back to HORL, and, uh, you know, Will raced with us a long time ago, uh, back in about the mid-2000s, and, uh, you know, good to, great to see him back, contribute so much here, providing service for us and uh, expertise, and uh, as far as the coding and all that stuff, he's got a lot of uh, you know, stuff for us here. We're back to green. It looks like somebody's uh, off the pace here. I'm not sure what's going on here. Christian Wilson off the pace. Uh, so there may be some penalties uh, handled out here on this restart. We'll see. 27 to the 22. Iglesias in that 22 car up the uh, track. As uh, the 27 of Preston Hassel did not pit. So let's see if he can't finish this bad boy under green here. Everybody hopefully settles down here a little bit. 91, Claudio Margelli Jr. now up to the second position. I have to say that I think that 27 car might be in a little bit of trouble here. Not too many laps on those tires, but I think this track is so abrasive that every little bit's going to count. But he's out to a big big lead right now. And, uh, Bardelli Jr. and Iglesias having a, a fight here for the second position. 53, Jim Willis. Uh, up there as well, Jim Willis got in an accident earlier, but he's got that thing back uh, underneath him. And uh, now in P4, we'll take a look at Jim Willis in the 53 car. He's running in P4. Iglesias up there in the third position, 91. Claudio Bardelli Jr. in the second spot. This guy's going to start figuring it out here. Artigiera and uh, Givaldo Spindola here battling it out. Artigiera up on the outside line. Givaldo Spindola down the bottom line. That four car ahead of steam there. Gets by the 68. Takes over the ninth position. We got another caution flag. My gosh, man. There's the caution flag right there as we're watching the replays. The uh, 12 car down on the bottom. And My heavens. We'll see what happened here. We can't even uh, get in the groove here as far as broadcasting with all these caution flags. Some filler material. We'll see what happened here. Well, but John Stanley gets up into the wall right there, climbs up the track, and then comes across. Oh, the 77 just misses him. Bottleneck, and then he gets down to the grass, comes up, gets up into Craig Marazon. Spindle gets caught up in that, and the 90 gets caught up in that, and then, oh, man, 24 also gets caught in that. Oh, and it happens early. You, get, you catch a lot of cars, and he gets up in the wall, comes across the track. Get back up into the 41 and the 68, and then uh, blocking the track right there. And some of these guys just can't miss. See the one X, and then the 24 can't miss him as well. So, John Stanley uh, just got up into the wall. It looked like that car climbed up the track. what we're doing there. But. 
climbing up the track there and uh, got into the wall. All right, man, this thing has gotten uh, messy. Whoa. Where's the filler material when I see it, when I need it? Uh? There's a press and hassle. Now going to come down pit lane. Looks like Jesus Iglesias is coming down pit lane as well. There's the uh, 41, Craig Marazon. He got into the, uh, into the 12 as the 12 came across uh, the track. These guys all making pit stops here. We had no caution flags up to around lap 40. Since then, we've had like five caution flags. I don't know what's happened. Somebody flipped the switch. I think a lot of it is, you know, the, the track is rubbered in now and it gets slick. That could be it. But also, I think the aggressiveness has gone up a little bit. Guys are really trying to, you know, uh, vying for position, trying to get up every spot they can here late in the race. And here we're our 20 laps from the finish. It's taken us you know, an hour to get through about uh, 30 laps here. Yeah, let's go with the squid facts, Will. Let's go, man. The sex squid in uh, bio one. Or have, I shouldn't say we have lately, but we have. Not exactly a fun dissection, to be honest with you. It's not, uh, certainly not frogs or, or uh, feet of pigs or something like that. But Glad we got the uh, the bot out of the picture. That's the second time or the third time in the uh, in the last two weeks we've had that bot show up. So that's fun. Take a look at the schedule here, of the Bushwhacker Series. Of course, tonight we have a little bit of a mess here in the back half of this Homestead Miami Speedway race. Next week I got Kentucky Speedway to finish out the season. Then we'll be announcing the schedule for uh, the first season of 2022. So of course we're finishing up the uh, the end of the year, uh, first running into the first part of the year here, of course with uh, Christmas, uh, you know, backing us up a week. Uh, so we're excited to uh, see what's coming up next in uh, the Bushwhacker series. And we'll be announcing that schedule next week at Kentucky. So, uh, Take a look at the point standings coming into tonight's race.
here the uh, top 10 coming into tonight's race. Paul Brown, 292 points. Christian Wilson in second. Preston Hassel third. Jamaldo Spindola in the fourth position. Craig Mares on fifth. Claudio Bardelli Jr. sixth. Todd Robillard seventh. Ed Palumbo eighth. Sean Jacobs ninth. And Colin Madiak. Jim. In points coming into tonight's race. Colin hasn't really raced that much, but uh, he's been doing, he does well whenever he shows up, so he's accumulated quite a few points. Looks like uh, Claudio Bardelli Jr. in the 91 will lead the field to take the green flag this time by. Keep your fingers crossed. I don't know if you're superstitious or if uh, finger crossing works, but it would be great to finish this under green. Had a little bit of a, uh, a mess here. We've got under 20 laps to go, and I think we can do it. Green flag, go, go, go. All right, Barkelly Jr. on the inside line. Jim Willis up on the outside line to 77. Paul Brown has gotten back up to the front here, so keep your eye on that 77 car. Down below the uh, the 53. Looking out of the back of the 53's machine. Yeah, out of the 91, I take that back. Out of the 91, it's the 77 going to the high side. Bardelli Jr. crossing the start and finish line in P1. The 77 in second, the 53 in the third position. Archivera up to the fourth spot. And look at that Palumbo having a battle here with the 2X. Tony Lima in the 2X machine. Ed Palumbo in that 54 car down to the inside, and he's going to take over that spot as the 2X now fighting off, uh, trying to fight off the 24 of Sean Jacobs. Marconi Lima in that 2X machine, his first race out in a while. Having a good battle here with the 24 car. Sean Jacobs now gets by that 24, that Western Auto Sponsor machine. Oh, it's going to be a crossover move. Down to the inside. Marconi Lima has a good run on the inside. Can he? Oh! Let's get together there with the 24. And it's not over. 24 car up on the outside line, trying to hold on to that spot. Marconi Lima trying to get that spot back. 24 has a head of steam. He's going to take over that spot. It's a 2X. That's a tuck in. This guy's getting after it here. It is go time. Archie Piano on the inside line. Look at this mess. Oh, there's contact between the 91 and the 54. Archie Piano up on the outside line here now, battling that 53 car. 91 and the 53, not the 54, but 53. Still battling it out side by side. Archie Piano, Jim Willis side by side. The 82, Tim Lansbury in that mix. As Archie Piano gains that spot. Jim Lansbury, the 82. The outside there, trying to battle Jim Willis. While we were watching that, look at this. Paul Brown on the outside line, battling Claudio Bartelli Jr. Look at that, that got three wide. That got three wide. This is 77, clears the 91 car. And that battle right there got a little crazy behind. 30 car of uh, Christian Wilson down to the inside line as we see Marconi Lima. Christian Wilson in the 30, battling the 2X. These guys have had a busy night. Christian Wilson in 16. Marconi Lima now back to 17. Oh, not so fast here. He's battling back on the outside. The five. Ricky Emerson running in the 18th position. They're still side by side. John Stanley trying to make some moves here after uh, the crash. 22, Jesus Iglesias down the inside line as Stanley uses that outside line. 
And out of the front of John Stanley's machine. He's looking uh, at the 24 of Sean Jacobs. These guys trying to get every position they can. About 10 laps to go. All Brown continuing the lead as the 91 of Claudio Bardelli Jr. follows him. The four of Archuleta is in third. Tim Lansbury fourth. Craig Marazon back up to the fifth position. Take a look at Craig Marazon. He and the 53. Oh, the 53 up on the up the track. 53 up the track. He might have gotten into the wall. He's going to lose his positions there. I don't know what happened. There was some contact. 53 and uh, Craig Marazon, uh, those guys got together and uh, 53 trying to hang on to this thing now. Take a look and see what happened here. Take a look, Craig Marazon in that 41 car down the inside line. 53, oh man, oh, there was no contact there. I just spooked him and like, like he was going to come down to the inside. Didn't realize the 41 was there and he got up into the wall. Sean Jacobs and Ed Palumbo here battling it out. 24 and the 54, Javaldo Spindola just in front of him in that 68 car. We got a yellow flag here. We got a yellow flag as the 30 is off the pace. Where are those squid facts? Christian Wilson came around, not sure what precipitated that. We'll take a look and see what happened here. The uh, 30 car, he spins, he just spins and uh, like a single car incident, I don't know what caused that car to come around, just got loose, he missed a shift, I don't know why he'd be shifting there, but the car just got loose, he got up in that uh, three quarters of the way up the track, maybe two thirds of the way up the track there and then the car just came around, the guys have been talking about how you got to get out of the throttle, the thing is kind of loose. Single car incident. to the 77 of um, Paul Brown and the outlaw sponsored machine he is the leader the 91 Claudio Bardell Jr. in second now the question is do you pit hard to get is in third Lansbury fourth I wonder are guys going to come down pit lane here or are they going to just say hey I got what I got and uh, this is it let's see Okay, Will, I got a mission for you. I want to know what the, what the uh, we'll say, um, squid ink or octopus ink or cuttlefish ink. I want to know what it's made out of. There you go. There's a mission. What is that stuff made out of? Look at this. These guys are coming down pit lane here. So maybe a gutsy move. Guys coming down pit lane, late choice to come down pit lane too. So about half the field, maybe a little bit more than half the field coming down pit lane here. Very interesting, and that includes the race leader. That takes uh, Todd Robillard back to the race lead. Craig Marazon is in second, and this is going to be dicey here, really, because watch this. Uh, we're going to get an idea of how many guys are still out here on the track that have not made a pit stop. Okay. 
And that'll give you an idea of what the work these guys that have made pit stops have to do. But there's quite a few cars here. You know, you're looking at, uh, what, seven cars, eight cars, somewhere around there. About seven cars that have not made pit stop. That's a fair amount. See, Paul Brown now going to come back out. And assuming some of these guys don't make pit stops, that's going to be interesting. Good have three hearts. Okay, great. Blue blood. Cuttlefish. Uh, that, those are my favorite of the uh, cephalopods. And uh, they have the ability much greater than squid and uh, octopus to uh, really change their colorations, uh, almost like a strobe light effect they can do, change the texture of their skin uh, to be able to blend in, uh, and also the, the way that they can change their coloration to blend in, but also mesmerize potential prey, uh, kind of uh, that strobe that cuttlefish are a lot smaller than, of course, uh, most uh, octopus and, uh, and squid. Masters of camouflage. They do that with uh, cells called uh, chromatophores. And like iridophores, I think, are the other names of the other cells. Iridophores are kind of like reflective cells that reflect the chromatophore coloration. There you go. There's some squid fats for you. Or cephalopod fats. But we'll uh, get a plug in here with the uh, Saturday Showdown Series coming up tomorrow. Man, it's almost time for the Saturday Showdown Series. If these guys don't uh, get this stuff together here, uh, qualification starts at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, boy. I think it's cuddle as in C-U-T-T. Will be <laughs> cuttle, not cuddle. That's a different cuttle fish that you're talking about, buddy. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not hearing anything about a green white checker here, so it looks like uh, we're going to have a dash to the finish. Look at this, a 90 as the left go to the bottom line here. That puts our Craig Marizan up on the outside line. Are we going to uh, finish this under green, or are we going to end up having a uh, green-white checker? So uh, we cross the start finish line. We will have, uh, what, three to go? Three to go. And if you think the intensity was uh, crazy when we started this string of endless cautions, wait till these three laps. I will, I'm not laying my money on this finishing under green, actually. <laughs> Here we go, the uh, pace car is gonna come in this time by, and here we go, we're gonna go back to green. Tom Robillard the, leading the field. Take the green flag, we've got about four or five cars that have not pitted, and they hold on. Robillard a good start there on the uh, restart. 90 down to the inside. At 77, has got fresh tires. Oh, we got a yellow flag as we see him spinning. Oh, my gosh. It is a mess. Oh, my gosh. The 53 into the wall, the 91 into the wall. This was ugly. Look at the green white checker. Chuck Casey and Bardelli Jr. 
get into one another. See what happened here. Looked like their 68 got out of the throttle right there. They're three wide. And then uh, the 68 and the uh, 29 get into one another, and that causes a chain reaction there. To the 91. 68 does get down into the, uh, the 29 car, and then there was a mess right there. The 91 gets turned by the 24, and then, oh, my God, that was hard to the wall. The 24 is on the outside line here, and uh, these guys are going by Rivaldo on both sides. Rivaldo comes down and gets into the 29. And I don't know, uh, I'm not sure why they got uh, three wide there. Something happened earlier on. Take a look at this a little bit earlier here. So Valdo, see where he's over the off the pace. It just looked like those guys uh, were going around him on all sides, but he does get down, gets into the 29 car. It was all hell breaking loose after that, the 91 and the 53, it was like, or the, uh, like, uh, Preston Hassel got involved in that as well. Oh, boy. Well, we've got a green-white checker here, and uh, I have no confidence that this is going to end under green at this point. <laughs> that was messy. I mean, we had such a good uh, you know, first 20, 30 laps, whatever it was, and then just got messy after that. I think the track rubbered in. Things got slick. Guys got a little uh, aggressive and uh, just got messy. I think we'll all be happy to get this one over with. We still have 19 drivers joining us. And it, this track is a little tough to drive. I mean, I'm going to be, uh, you know, out here to defend these guys a little bit. This track is quite tough to drive. And now you lay down a ton of rubber here, you know, 21 drivers worth of rubber on this track. It makes it even slicker. And I really didn't have any idea that we'd have that many drivers here tonight. Looks like uh, Glenn Wilson on pit lane uh, right now with the uh, 43 car. Making a pit stop.
tonight's race is brought to you by EliteHostingUSA.com. They provide our R Factor 2 servers that are three self managed server packages available for you to choose from for your race league if you're interested in a, uh, an R Factor 2 server. Rock solid. Look at this, man. We have 21 drivers here. We have no really con no connection issues uh, tonight. So, uh, rock solid uh, race servers uh, and a great price. Not only that, but, uh, if you want a website or an online store hosting, you can certainly uh, choose EliteHostingUSA.com. And don't let the USA part fool you because uh, we can actually get you some uh, race servers in your area of the, wor uh, the world, your region. Through EliteHostingUSA.com, so uh, give those guys a look. They do a great job for us. Well, this is interesting. The 77 has fresh tires uh, or fresher tires than these front three. the 41 Craig Mayer is up on the outside line the five Ricky Emerson on the inside line Paul Brown in the 77 up on the outside line in fourth the four of Argivieta is in fifth the 91 Claudio Bardelli Jr. is in sixth it's been a little messy here late in this race the back half of this race has been a little bit messy. Now we've got a green-white checker. Oh, did I, did I forget to put the uh, the flags up there for the green-white checker? There we go. We'll make it official. Green-white checker. All right, the 91 and the 41, there might be a real dash here to get the front as quickly as possible to make sure or make sure you hold on to the lead. So the 41, if he can get around the 90 car and take over the lead, and there's a caution flag, that'll end it. Here we go. The 41 gets a good start. The 41, uh, the 90 gets a push from the five. The, uh, oh, the five gets up into the 41. Five gets up into the 41, they're wrecking! Five drifted up the track and it is a mess! Absolute parking lot back there and the 90 car is gonna win this race. They are still wrecking. Still wrecking back there. Paul Brown got caught up in that mess as well. So the 90 is going to come away with the race win here. My heavens, man, that was a mess. Take a look here. It ended there. That was uh, the five had drifted up the track and gotten into uh, the five got up into the forty one. And uh, what a mess. Todd Robillard. 
gets the win. So congratulations to uh, Todd Roblard in the uh, the 90 on getting the race win. Thank God that's over. Thank God that one's over. That was ugly. And what a, a shame, because it really started out as a great race. So that Freightliner sponsor machine in victory lane. So we'll take a look at the uh, the finishing results there. Sorry, I had to take care of a few administrative deals there. We'll take a look at the finishing order. Man, that was uh, U-G-L-Y. Todd Robillard finishes in P1. Artivieta gets a second place finish. Sean Jacobs third. Ed Palumbo fourth. Gary Madu finishes in the fifth position. John Stanley sixth. Danilo Coelho finishes in the seventh position. Preston Hassan, Passel finishes the eighth. Ardelli Jr. is actually ninth in the 91 car. I don't know why it's showing him as eighth. Marconi Fernandez de Lima finishes in the uh, the 10th position, actually. Zach Casey is actually 11th. Chivaldo's been to 12th. Glenn Wilson, 13th. Ricky Emerson, 14th. Jesus Iglesias, 15th. Tim Lansbury, 16th. 17th, Paul Brown, Craig Marazon, 18th, Jim Willis, 19th, Christian Wilson finishes in the 20th position. Ismael Castro finishes in 21st. If we can't, uh, see if we can't get uh, Todd Robillard up here in the booth. Let's see if we got to uh, take a few care of a few things here real quick. Man, that was uh, that got crazy. How about that? How about that? that, that uh, screenshot that was awful
So it looks like uh, we've got that straightened out now, sort of anyway. Wow, that got crazy, man. What a horrible, uh, and a little uh, exactly uh, in the chat session says there was a nice stint only the first 30 laps after that too many yellows or too much yellow. And that is exactly right. It my feeling exactly. I don't know why these guys just forgot how to drive, I guess. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it really was a, a shame because it muddied up a, a great race, in my opinion. Uh, we had a great race going and it really did uh, kind of mess things up. And I, I uh, you know, kind of embarrassed for these guys, actually, uh, the way that they drove. The way that they acted there in that... Uh, after that first uh, 30 lap stint, it was a fantastic first 30 laps. I was actually kind of surprised we didn't have caution flag. But, uh, then I, I uh, was about every five laps we had a caution flag, sometimes uh, less than that. All right, we got Todd Robillard here joining us up in the booth, and uh, you know, let's uh, let's tackle the elephant in the room right now. And that is that first thirty lap run or so. That was a great run, and then it just fell apart after that. Yeah, it had a lot to do with the uh, the rubber on the track. I think after it started to build up to a certain point, it was especially on restarts and cold tires. Everybody had a hard time keeping a uh, handle of their car. Yeah, you were talking about how some of the changes you had to make in the, you know, throttle control through the turn to keep the car from uh, coming around. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, that was probably another product of uh, the rubber on the track. We saw a couple of guys spin, just lose it in the middle of the corner, but it was probably due to them letting off the gas or letting off the, yeah, letting off the gas so fast. The back end of the car came around and it, it broke the rear tires free. That uh, was tough because if you ran up on somebody that you didn't have any, wasn't any way to get out of their way. Um, even there was a lot of uh, incidents that like, like that tonight. Yeah, well, it was a shame because it really did kind of muddy up a uh, a really good race there that we'd had that first 30 laps. But uh, you know, you you got into a situation where it was really. You had to make a decision when you were going to pit, if you were going to stay out, and you, uh, with the gutsy move there at the end, stayed out. What was going through your mind when you saw that you stayed out, another caution flag came out, and you had some guys that had fresh tires behind you? I wasn't going to be able to hold anybody off on the Greet Wine Checker. If, uh, if those guys had stayed right behind me, I would have lost. Um, I was kind of banking on another caution, unfortunately. I mean, that's sucks to say it that way, but... Um, with the way everything was kind of falling apart at the end there, I thought I had a pretty good shot at it. Um, my right side tires were had too much wear on them to be able to outrun the guys that were behind me. I knew they had fresher tires, so it was just a, a, I was only a caution away from taking the win. Well, this is one of those tracks where you, you've always got to be up on the wheel. I mean, and uh, throttle management, we, you know, steering wheel control or front end control, I guess. And then, of course, guys can pass on the left. They can pass on the right. They can pass through the middle. You've got to really be, you know, have your uh, situational awareness on on the high there. Yeah, it's true. And the, uh, as the tires wear and the rubber builds up, the car tends to jump out from under you at times with no warning here. That's one of the things we probably need to go back to work on for the next time that we end up racing here. Well, I know the cold weather's uh, joined us, unfortunately, and uh, you know that means golf season is over. But uh, we might see a little bit more through on the Friday night stuff. We got Kentucky Speedway coming up next week. Uh, another mile and a half, but a very different beast. A lot of room to race there. What do you think about Kentucky? Uh, it's a fun track. It's one of my more. Uh, that's I run pretty well there. It's one of my favorite tracks. Should be a good race. I know a win's a win. I know uh, you, you don't want to see a race this kind of this muddy and uh, this, you know, uh, caution filled, but a win's a win. You got to uh, walk away feeling satisfied that you at least got a win out of this deal. Yeah, I, I like that my plan executed pretty well. Yeah, that was a gutsy move. Well, hey, congratulations, man, and uh, good to see you out tonight. And uh, hopefully we'll see you maybe uh, later this weekend if you can get, the, get permission from the Y. Uh, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. All right, buddy. Well, hey, good Thanks, job, man. Steve.
Yeah. All right, so Todd Robillard here joining us up in the booth, and uh, you can tell, man, very tempered there on that uh, on that win. He, you know, he's really more concerned about the nature of the race and the and the characteristics there, that and uh, you know how you know kind of ma- nasty that race there got at, at the end, and uh, you know, guys are going to walk away. Probably some of those guys are going to walk away a little mad and maybe like, wow, this is a complete mess. And hopefully, you know, most of those guys that. Well, I'd say all those guys that come and race with us say no, it's not a norm, not a normal uh, deal on Friday nights to have something like that. But uh, it really is a shame that we had that many caution flags. Uh, but uh, you know the track is a tough one. So, well, we got more racing headed your way this weekend. Uh, Saturday showdown, uh, race number five headed your way uh, tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and uh, the 2018 X Mod. Minneapolis Motor Speedway, 80 laps. And, of course, it'll be live right here on Turn Love TV. It should be a fun, fun race. Excited about this one. We're probably going to have a big field here, man. Indianapolis is a very fa- uh, very popular track uh, all across the world. Anybody who's a race fan knows Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And uh, this should be a fun one. So uh, tune in tomorrow on Turn Love TV and uh, join us on the broadcast uh, from Indy. should be a fun one in the Saturday Showdown Series. I want to say thank you so much for joining us here on Turn Left TV. That's going to do it for me tonight. I think I'm going to get out of here and maybe uh, go up and join my friends and have a little chat about the race. So I appreciate you here joining us tonight. Joining us in the chat session. That's going to do it for me. I am out of here.